Do you have knee pain when you exercise? Well, if you do, then strengthening your quad muscles with these three movements should help. Hey there, Coach Tyler here, and today I'm gonna share with you three of my favorite movements that you can add into your routine to help you strengthen all of the muscles on your quad around your knee that will help protect your knees and maybe even get you out of knee pain. And this video is important to me because I've actually had five knee surgeries, one on the left and four on the right. So trust me when I say I get how frustrating it can be to experience pain in your knees. So make sure you stick around till the end because the last movement that I'll share with you was a game changer for me personally to help me strengthen my quads and finally get rid of my own knee pain. Let's jump on over to the whiteboard and talk about why you'd wanna strengthen your quads in the first place. So this is a close up of your knee joint. Right here is your kneecap. This is the big bone, your femur coming down right here. And this is the bottom bone, your tibia right here. And these little purple lines right here are the tendons across the front of your kneecap, your patella. And these blue giant things right here are the quad muscles. So these are the four muscles on the front side of your leg. And their responsibility is to extend the knee. But more importantly, and this is what most people don't understand, their responsibility is to be able to slow the leg down as it's bending. As if you're walking, going down the stairs, it's going to decelerate your leg and stabilize the knee. So. When you strengthen these muscles, what happens is it allows your body to be able to shift your center of gravity in front of your foot without experiencing knee pain. The stronger your quads are and the better you are at using them in movement, the more likely you'll be able to do things like go down the stairs, run up a hill, squat deep, sit on your knees, etc., without causing your knee to hurt. So, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on strengthening these quad muscles with a few simple movements that you can practice right now so that you can start experiencing pain-free knees again. Probably my favorite beginner exercise for activating the quad muscles so that you can better stabilize the knees is the seated heel push. So here's how you can practice it at home. When you're sitting in a chair, put your feet right about hip width apart with your toes facing straight forward. Now from there, when you look down, I wanna make sure that your knees are going the same direction as your toes. So they're not out like this, where the, the thigh bone is going out, but the toes are going straight like this, and they're not knocking together like this. And I want you to maintain that position. It's really important that we rehearse this position, because that's the position that your knees are strongest and safest in, okay? From there, you're gonna lift your toes to your nose, so press up onto your heels like this, and then all you're gonna do is imagine trying to scoot your heels forward so that you could push the chair back. But don't push so hard that you actually tip yourself over or anything like that. You just wanna create tension in the quad muscles. So it looks like this. Arms can just hang to the side. Inhale as you push your feet into the ground. Exhale as you stop. And as you push those heels into the ground right here, you should really feel the muscles on the tops of your thighs, these quad muscles firing. And you can hold it for a good three, four, five seconds and then relax and then push again and relax. And if you practice this exercise for 60 seconds, then maybe rest for 30 seconds or so, and then repeat a few rounds, you'll really start to feel the muscles on the fronts of your thighs, those quad muscles firing. And that's gonna be really helpful as you go into more difficult exercises that require the quads, because the first thing you wanna do is learn how to feel those muscles activate, which is exactly what this exercise does. So give this a shot, get those quads activated, and then we can go on to a more difficult variation of an exercise that'll get your quads working too. Real quick, before I get to the next movement, I wanted to mention that if you like this video, then you'll love the other videos that we release every single week on our channel. So. If you're interested in learning how to move your body better so you can feel better in your body, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then click the little bell icon so you can get notified every time we release a new video just like this one. Okay, back to the next movie. This is one of my favorite movements that you can practice at home to activate the quads through a full range of motion. 
and it's called the feet together sit to stand. So let's start standing up and you're gonna bring your feet together and your knees together just like this. And as you do this movement, I want you to make sure that your feet stay flat on the ground the entire time. Don't let your heels come up off the ground. So you're gonna bring your arms out in front and if you need to, you can also put your hands on your thighs for support. You're gonna come down by bending through the hips first, the knees second. Try to touch your butt to the chair behind you and then try to stand up. Now you'll notice this type of squat is significantly harder than if you squat with your legs out like this because you're gonna be using your quads a lot more and using your glutes and your hamstrings a lot less. And the more you can just hover over the chair right here without sitting down and without putting any weight on the chair like this and then stand back up, the more you'll activate your quads throughout that process. Now a few big things here, try to keep your chest up as you go down. Don't round your back forward like this, right? We wanna keep that chest up, which is why we keep our hands out forward. If you need to, again, you can use your hands on your thighs for support. And if you need to as well, you don't have to go all the way down. You can just come halfway down, feel that quad activation, and then stand up and repeat the reps like that. And then eventually you'll be able to come all the way down, hover over the chair, and then stand back up like this. Now you can do this exercise for anywhere between, call it 10 to 20 repetitions for maybe three to five rounds. And if you do, I promise your quad muscles will be on fire and you'll strengthen them, which will strengthen the control over your knee and help those knees feel better in the long run. Okay, before I get to the last movement that I really think is gonna make a big difference on how your body feels, I wanted to mention that the best thing for you to do after this video is over is to click the link below or head on over to weshape.com so you can get free access to the amazing at-home workout system that we've created for you. Every exercise in your personalized at-home workout will be selected for you based on your goals and your capabilities, and our community is so incredibly supportive and encouraging, especially if you're a beginner. This has got to be my absolute favorite quad strengthening exercise that you can do at home. But be warned, it's an intermediate to advanced exercise, so make sure that you work on activating your quads and strengthening your quads through a full range of motion prior to doing this exercise. So how this is gonna work is you're gonna start in a kneeling position on a mat like this, and you wanna make sure that there's something soft underneath your knees. You shouldn't be grinding your kneecaps into the ground. So something nice and cushy, a pillow, anything like that should be a good place to start. And the first variation of this that you can do is simply just getting comfortable, bringing your butt back towards your heels like this, and then driving your toes into the ground to extend your hips like that. And once you get to the place where you can do this and it feels pretty easy, there's no knee pain, you feel the quads activating, then the next step is to do a small kneeling back bend. So that's why I have a chair right here. You can bring your feet all the way up into the chair and this is a little marker for support. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna find my good position, I'm gonna squeeze my butt muscles really tight and I'm just gonna lean backwards until I feel my shoulder blades touch the chair and then I'm gonna drive my toes into the ground really hard and bring myself back to the start position. And when you do this, you're gonna feel those muscles on the fronts of your thighs fire like crazy. Now, if you can do this with this distance where your toes are right towards the chair for let's call it 10 repetitions, then what you can do is take a little scoot forward like this. And then all of a sudden you get a little bit more range of motion. You'll have to go a little bit deeper in order to touch the chair and come back up. And over time, as you continue to get stronger and create more distance behind you with a chair, then what you can do is once you get to a point where you can do something like that, right? And you can see the quads starting to work and shake really hard. You can turn the chair around and you can do this exercise where you bring your shoulder blades down to the bottom of a chair. So this is your low chair kneeling back bend. So that's gonna look like this. Same thing, start with your toes real close to the chair like that. Squeeze the glutes. Get tight and get really, really strong on this one because it gets more and more difficult as the range of motion grows. You could tap your shoulder blades here and then drive your toes in the ground to bring yourself back up. Now, you can continue this progression all the way to the point where you can do this on the ground, where your shoulder blades come all the way down to the ground and you come all the way back up. And that's an extremely advanced move, but an incredible move at strengthening your quads while also stretching your quads and hip flexors at the same time. Plus, it requires zero equipment, so you can do it anytime, anywhere. So, go slow on this movement, start small, but if you continuously make those small progressions like I showed you, it's gonna make a huge difference on your ability to activate your quads and strengthen your knees at the same time. There you have it, 
three awesome movements to help strengthen your quads and support your knees. Just practice these movements throughout your week and watch as your quads grow stronger so you can feel better in your body again. Oh, and if you enjoyed this video, you'll love the next one where I break down how to do the lunge with perfect form. It's one of the best lower body exercises for strengthening all the muscles of your legs, but most people make a ton of mistakes that can actually hurt your knees. And I'll show you those mistakes and how to fix them in this video so you can lunge pain-free again. I'll see you there.